Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well. Today I'll be sharing with you my Trader Joe's snack haul, so I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, so I have two big bags here full of snacks, and of course I had to pick up a bunch of my favorite rice snacks from Trader Joe's, but the first thing I want to share with you is actually an accessory for your Instant Pot, and if you love your Instant Pot as much as I do, and if you make a ton of bone broth, then I definitely recommend picking up one of these silicone baskets. Um, I actually had one, but I gave it to my girlfriend, so I had to purchase another one. But it is so convenient if you make a ton of bone broth or any like soupy, brothy kind of things where you need um, like bones or vegetables that you want to house in a basket and just have it cook in the Instant Pot. It's just so convenient. Here you house all of the bones, you throw it in your Instant Pot, and then obviously it's easy cleanup. You just pull this out and then all of your bones will be in here. Then you can just toss all of the bones and stuff into your food recycle and it's just easy cleanup. I absolutely love it and you will definitely thank me for it if you make a ton of bone broth or vegetable broth. It is such a lifesaver and I definitely use it a ton. Now you can't get this from Trader Joe's. I actually purchased this on Amazon and had it shipped to my American mailbox and then picked it up on the way to Trader Joe's. It's just much more cost efficient that way. And if you don't know already, I am Canadian. So from time to time, I like to go down to the States to do some shopping. And if I do find some things online that are much more cost efficient, then I do have it shipped there and pick it up. All right, now it's time to get to the fun stuff. I stocked up on a bunch of rice snacks when I was at Trader Joe's, and of course I had to pick up my favorite mochi snack, and this is the Crispy Crunchy Mochi Rice Nuggets, and they are, as they say, the Crispy Crunchy Mochi Rice Nuggets. They have not a ton of flavor to them, but they're just super crunchy and just super addictive, and I love them. They're so, so good. I purchased five of them, but I finished two of them on my way back to Canada. They're just so addictive, and I really do love them. And of course, no Trader Joe's haul is complete without these Trader Joe's Savory Thin Mini Rice crackers and these are the multi seed with tamari soy sauce and I love these they are just so fun to eat and um, they're quite healthy as well All right next I have some sweet stuff here I have the Trader Joe's pink and white shortbread cookies with yogurt coating and sprinkles I actually purchased this for my little nieces and I'm going to see them today so I can't wait to give this to them um, Trader Joe's actually used to have something called the yogurt stars um, they love those yogurt stars but unfortunately they don't make them anymore or I haven't seen them at least and so I saw these and I think that um, my girls would love them so look at them they're just so pretty and they look very similar to the yogurt stars so I can't wait to actually give this to them and I purchased three of these all right now we're going to be moving on to the next bag and here I have the organic white truffle potato chips with Italian white truffles and fleur de sel sea salt and this was actually thrown into my basket from my husband and I'm sure he's going to love this. Um, he's been waiting to eat this but I told him to not eat them yet because I need to film this video. <laughs> All right, the next thing I have here is the Trader Joe's Organic Moroccan Mint Tea. Uh, we were running out of mint tea and I figured I'd pick one up at Trader Joe's. And then here I also have a I uh, actually purchased two of these bags of the Jumbo Raisin Medley. Um, it is just Jumbo Raisins and I love to snack on raisins. So I picked up two of these bags. I also have here um, my favorite seasoning, the Everything But The Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend, and it is with sea salt, garlic, and onion. And if you haven't tried this on avocado toast, then I highly recommend that you do because it is so delicious, and you're definitely missing out if you haven't tried that combination yet. And the next two things I purchased from Walmart, but I threw them in this bag anyway, and I'll share them with you. Um, they are actually for Easter that's coming up, and we're going to be doing a little Easter egg hunt for my nieces. And I have these little mini Kit Kats, and you can see that we kind of tore into these. We definitely couldn't help ourselves, and these are quite delicious. All right, and here's the other bags of the multi-seed with tamari soy sauce crackers. And my other bag of the raisin medley. I also picked up another bottle of the organic coconut aminos um, seasoning sauce. I love having this with takeout sushi when we do have our sushi nights here. Another thing that I'm super excited to try is this Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company Multi-Purpose Umami Seasoning Blend. And this was new and I didn't see it before so I'm excited to give this a try. 
And the next two bottles are curry. I love these curries that Trader Joe's offer. It is the Thai red curry sauce and the Thai yellow curry sauce. And these are really nice with seafood or chicken or vegetables. Um, I like to do a vegetable combination, a vegetable and chicken combination. So these are really convenient to have on hand when I am making dinner. All right, and the next thing is the yogurt pretzels. Who doesn't love yogurt pretzels? They're pretty standard and delicious. All right, and I think that is pretty much it. I have the last two boxes of the pink and white um, cookies, and I will be giving these to my nieces. All right, so I want to share with you something else that I got, and I got it from my mom, actually, and it is this Atomy Hemohim Herbal Extract Natural Health Product, and I've actually had really bad allergies this season, and my mom noticed, so she actually told me to take this supplement, and I've noticed such good results from it that I told her to get me another box, and so she did. And inside the box are these little sachets here, and you can just tear along the dotted line and then just consume the product that's inside. It is quite strong and does taste quite herbally, but you do get used to it after a while. And I'm actually committed to cutting out allergy medication this season, just because I've noticed in the past that it does dry me out a ton. And if you're interested in this product, then I'll leave a link of it down below in the description box so that you can check it out. All right, and that is pretty much it for this haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down below what are your favorites from Trader Joe's. I would love to know. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please like this video if you like my videos and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!